Well, there's no better time for basketball fans than right now. WCCO's Ren Clayton went to the girls' basketball state tournament where two outstate teams were trying to make school history. The best part of March Madness is when two teams from 277 miles apart face off for their first state championship. It's like heart. I think there's just a lot of, you actually don't realize how much people care. And then when you have stuff like this, the, the little town just kind of, you're like, ah. Many bold high school fans had to dig themselves out of snow drifts caused by the high winds in western Minnesota. Meanwhile, folks from up north came down to cheer on Mountain Iron Buell. Who had been to 12 of the last 13 state tournaments but never won a title. It's been a long time coming and the people they're driving down in droves because they're behind these girls and um, we're ready to get that gym rocking for a welcome home party after. <laughs> so like I said this is very exciting for the communities of Mountain Iron Buell. Bold scored the first four points but Mountain Iron Buell ran away after that going on to win 52-21 finally getting over the hump. It means the world. This has been my dream since I was in the womb and just <laughs> just to have it come true just <sighs> it just means so much. I'm just so proud of you guys. It was a family affair for Hallie Savela. Her sister is a former player and her mom an assistant coach. It's so awesome to be able to spend this with her and my sister up there supporting in the stands and I've watched her go through this and she actually Posted six years ago today. I had a little sign for her <laughs> sitting in the stands, and it's just, it's really special. This just isn't our state championship, it's all the girls, like even the girls who made it to state the very first time when the youngest girl on our roster is only a month old. In Minneapolis, Ren Clayton, WCCO 4 News. Norman Seawright will have highlights of the other state championship games tonight on our late news.